Yo, what is going on guys? My name is Encrypted and welcome back to the channel. In today's tutorial, I'm going to be showing you guys how to deal with an ocean monument, how to find and locate it, and how to explore it. So, if you guys are new to the channel, definitely subscribe for more tutorials, leave a like on the video, and let's get right into it. So, first things first, to raid the ocean monument, you need to know where it is. So, what you should do is either A, get an elite trend some fireworks, go flying over top the ocean, look around and see if you can find uh, any light or anything from the bottom of it, or B, get a boat and, you know, just float around across the water and keep an eye out for any light underwater, see if you can see any structures, or C, go to a village, find a cartographer villager who's selling a map to you, and use the ocean explorer map to find a guaranteed ocean monument. So any of those three methods will work. Uh, basically you're looking for this giant structure under the water, uh, towards the bottom of the water, that has light emitting from it, and uh, you really can't miss it, you know, you'll see it whenever you, f whenever you find it, you'll find it, so. And once you find it, mark the coordinates, that way you know exactly where it is the next time you need to go to it, and once you've found it and marked the coordinates, now it's time to prepare for it. So the way to prepare for the Ocean Monument is pretty simple, all you're really going to need is some like iron or diamond armor, and an iron or a diamond sword to fight off the Elder Guardians, and the other things you're going to need are two potions. Uh, the one potion is a guaranteed must, it is the uh, water breathing potion, which you can create those by using pufferfish and awkward potions, combine those together and make a water breathing potion. And the other potion that you, you know, it's arguable if you need it or not, I'd say you should definitely consider bringing one, but it's up to you if you want to bring this or not, uh, that would be the night vision potion. Basically the night vision potion is created from golden carrots and awkward potions, and it allows you to see underwater clearly. Uh, in any dark area, so I would def definitely recommend bringing one, but if you don't want to, it's up to you. You don't really need it, I guess, but you do need the water breathing potion, so definitely make that. Like I said, to make a water breathing potion, use a puffer fish, and then um, use redstone to increase the length of the potion to 8 minutes. So, once you've got your potions, once you've got your armor and your sword ready to go, all you gotta do now is go back to the ocean monument and get ready to go in. Basically, in every ocean monument, there's an opening uh, in the middle of it, and that's going to take you in. Um, so, go down to the ocean floor, look for the opening. Uh, it's pretty big. Again, you really can't miss it. It's like giant archways leading into it. Once you enter the ocean monument, you're going to be greeted with a bunch of little guardian pufferfish-looking things. And uh, you can fight these guys off or not. It's up to you. Basically, their main attack is they're going to shoot this beam of energy at you. And right away, it's not going to damage you, but if the beam stays on you for a long enough time, it will deal damage. Uh, the way to counter this beam is to basically put blocks in front of you and the Guardian. That way, they can't shoot you with it, or just, you know, swim out of their uh, line of sight. Uh, that's really all you got to do. Keep breaking their line of sight, and the beam will stop, and it won't damage you. Now, the main goal in this ocean monument is to kill these three giant Elder Guardians. Uh, they're basically giant versions of these mini guardians, and the problem is they shoot you with these mining fatigue effects. Uh, the only way to get the mining fatigue to stop permanently is to kill the giant elder guardians, because they're the ones that inflict this uh, mining fatigue on you. Mining fatigue basically makes it so you can't mine any blocks, and that is to protect the ocean monument. They don't want you mining any of it. So what you need to do is go find the elder guardians. They're located randomly throughout the uh, ocean monument, and the ocean monument, you'll find out pretty quickly, is like a maze. It's like a labyrinth. It's very hard to navigate through, but uh, basically what you need to do is keep exploring every inch of this place until you find all three giant elder guardians and slay all three of them. Uh, they're basically just giant versions of the mini guardians. They don't really do anything else. Uh, if you do touch them, though, you will take some damage because they have spikes on them. So definitely consider keeping your distance enough to where you're not going to get hit by them. Uh, they shoot these beams at you as well. So again, to counter the beam, all you need to do is put some blocks in front of you, break their line of sight. It's pretty easy. Uh, they have a lot of health. That's the one downside. They have a lot of health on them, so you're going to need to put tons of damage in them to till you kill them. But once they're dead, they probably will drop sponge, which is a pretty rare ingredient. It's only obtainable from ocean monuments. Uh, so... That's a plus to raiding these places, by the way, is getting sponge. And once you've killed all three Elder Guardians, your mining fatigue will eventually wear off, and the Ocean Monument is basically as good as yours. Uh, yes, there will be those mini Guardians floating around still, but like I said, they probably won't cause you too much trouble. 
just try to stay out of their lines of sight and you should be okay. Um, now, the plus to having the ocean monument when the mining fatigue is gone is basically you can mine the walls now, which means you can get prismarine, which you can use to build underwater conduits, which are basically underwater beacons. And somewhere in the monument, which I'll show you in this clip right here, there are actually eight gold blocks hidden in the walls. Uh, there's like a weird pillar in the middle somewhere, and uh, if you break into it, you'll find eight gold blocks there. So that's definitely something to, you know, be happy about. And another thing hidden in the monuments is actually there's a secret room sometimes here that contains nothing but sponge in it. And uh, this is a very big deal because sponge is only obtainable from the ocean monument, like I said. And the only other way to get it in the monument is from killing those giant guardians, which obviously they don't respawn. So, you know, whenever you kill them, you're only going to get maybe like three pieces of sponge total. So whenever you find these sponge rooms, that's a big deal. Harvest all the sponge you can while you can. And there actually can be multiple sponge rooms in one monument. I've actually seen monuments with three sponge rooms in there before, so definitely keep looking around and eventually you'll probably find more. One more plus that you can use the uh, monument for is, since those little guys keep spawning in constantly, uh, you can actually turn this into an XP farm, uh, believe it or not. And I don't have a video on my channel yet of how to do that, but there are tutorials on YouTube that show you how to make uh, farms into these uh, out of the monuments using these like guardian things so definitely consider checking those out uh, you might want to make one because XP farms are always nice to have throughout the world and uh, I'm sure the ocean monument farm would be a very good one to have so definitely consider giving that a look anyways guys I hope this helped you out uh, if it did please feel free to leave a like let me know below if it did help you in the comments below and uh, also subscribe if you guys are new. I upload new tutorials every other day, if I can. I try to do one every day. Uh, new videos all the time as well. Projects, uh, tutorials, random stuff, and uh, you name it. Anyways, guys, I hope you have a great day. Hope this helped you, and I will see you in the next one. Peace!